So our first, our first question, actually, I'm going to piggyback off of something you said, Mary. Um, what was your opinion of PR early in your career? What was your sort of point of view on that? Who wants to jump on that one? Early in my career, my opinion of PR really had nothing to do with what I was doing day to day from an advertising perspective. I saw it as something that went along with celebrity or went along with corporate issues when something happened, but really didn't have any sort of you know intersection with what I was doing on a daily basis. Just never saw it. No. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. And for me in the advertising world, I think those were the guys that came dressed seriously while the rest of us were mini skirts and combat boots. So you, 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 <laughs> you kind of knew that something big was going to go down the day they appeared um, because they were there to frame the message. The rest of the time we were out of control. Um, and so I think that there was a certain sense that they were the more somber, the more reasonable. Age had no bearing, what I'm about to say. They were the more adult. Um, it didn't really matter what age we were. They were simply more adult than we were. The PR people. Yes, absolutely. Grown-ups. They knew how to frame messages, and they were going to be responsible for what they said. We weren't. They were the fixers. If, we, if any of us screwed up, they would take care of it. They were, they were mom and dad. Well, interestingly, at J&J, as brand people, we weren't even allowed to talk to the PR people. Like, they were, and maybe that's because they were considered the adults. I never thought about it that way. But they were untouchable. You could not talk to the PR people. They managed brand reputation, company reputation, and if we, for whatever reason, spoke to the press or spoke to a PR person, we would probably mess it up. Which is yeah. kind of interesting. So same thing at Colgate, um, 17 years ago, PR was something that was separated from marketing. Um, managed very uh, purposefully at our corporate communications group. Anytime any brand marketer would get a phone call from the press, it was, please contact corporate communications at extension 5555. Um, and so we really didn't have like strong opinions of the role of PR and marketing, right? Because it was kept very separately. We would have a new product launch and certainly we would do all the standard press releases, but we never really thought about it as something that should be integrated into the rest of our, of our advertising or marketing mix. 